they weren't joking when that medicine just like waterfall, just like, it's just like from one end to the other. That's, that's god awful. Like this? Okay, go in doc. See you on the other side. All right, today's the big day, getting my colonoscopy. Now I put this off for a good number of years, like five years or so. And I probably shouldn't because uh, my dad died from colon cancer, which is, uh, you know, a good reason to go get an early screening. If it runs in the family, you just go in a little bit early, you know, like maybe 45 years old or so. But last five years have been crazy. I know that's no excuse, but it's been crazy. You know, I've been like moving all over the place from LA to San Francisco and shoot, we were in Hawaii for a while. Now that we're in Las Vegas, I'm like, pandemic, mm, nothing else to do. Might as well have someone stick a finger up my bum bum. So that's what we're doing today. Now there's actually a lot of prep work that goes into uh, doing a colonoscopy. I didn't realize that. Like a whole week of fasting. So I haven't eaten a lot of foods that I love for the whole week, like rice and steak and potatoes and so many things. And then I've been on a liquid diet for two days. And the worst of it literally is until the uh, last 24 hours because I had to take this medicine. Today is a review of Clean Pick, which is uh, let's say it's a drink that you take before you get a colonoscopy. Um, I'm a little scared because the reviews online suggest that this stuff tastes nasty. Uh, my bigger fear is what happens afterwards. Apparently it's, uh, you know, 24 hours of pure hell, sitting on the can, uncontrollable mm, bowel movements, everything. It's actually kind of pleasant. It has a pleasant aroma. Uh, I try to explain. Oh my God, that's, that's God awful. <laughs> they weren't joking when that medicine just tears root, like, like waterfall. Just like, it's just like from one end to the other. It, you know what, what ends up happening, Ludad? Yeah. You don't even need to sit, like pee pee anymore. I don't need to stand a pee pee. I'm just like instantly, you know what? I'm just gonna sit down and pee pee comes out the other end. It, it works. I'm telling you, if you, you got constipation, this medication, no, you're not gonna say that. I'm not endorsing medicine. That's the status right now. It is a procedure, it is surgery. So I shouldn't take it lightly. But the whole point of this is to avoid any serious like surgery or cancer or anything like that, right? Like they're gonna go in all the way up the bunghole. Lula thinks like it's just like outside, like someone's playing with it, like tongue like, like some sort of porn. Like it's nothing like that. It's quite literally some weaving sort of stick that has ability to like actually take out the polyps if, if there's something bad. And they go all the way up your intestines. How far up? I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna come out this end or, or what. what. What else is happening? I know that there's anesthesia um, because they want Lulu to come with me. Uh, to pick me up because you know I can't drive uh, but I don't know if I'm like awake or not if I'm face down like I don't know if I'm supposed to lie down like this and it's like give it to me like this okay go in doc you know like <laughs> I, do you know okay bye bye Yoshi Say bye bye okay See, I'll be waiting mm -hmm. if I don't come back you. expect a new daddy in three weeks oh I guess this is the place this is not the hospital I went to the first time. I have no idea what's going on, Lulu. They just told me to go here, go do that. For all I know, I'm gonna walk out of this surgery with my kidneys missing. I, I need to read the paperwork better, Lou Day. All seriousness, y'all, it is surgery. I'm trying to, you know, make light of it, but at the end of the day, um, you know, I'm just I'm looking back and thinking about, you know, my dad who, you know, when he got cancer, it, it happened fast. It was already stage four when he started feeling like, oh, what? something felt wrong, yeah, when he, you guys didn't notice any of that? He didn't know, yeah. He, by the time he realized he had uh, cancer, it had already reached stage four cancer, which is why it was like pretty much untreatable. Like, uh, you know, if you get stage one, two, or if you get cancer like stage one, two, or three, you, you have a shot at getting it treated. But once it's stage four, it's metastasized, is that the word? Mes metastasized, metastasized to like everyone in your body. At that point, it was already too late for him. But it started in the colon for him. And uh, he was young, he was in his 50s, so yeah. You know, I, I'm taking it serious because of that reason. I know I put it off for a while. Let's do this. You got it, baby. Come back to me. Unfortunately, I can't go inside. Patients only. He's in there, lady. Good luck, John. See you on the other side. One eternity later. All right, so I am here to pick up John. Oh. So yeah, he'll be out any minute. Okay, so she can, I mean, he can walk though? He can, oh, yeah. do I need to be closer? He's no, okay? You, you can pull up and face that. that 
car. And I will just like, yeah, okay. that car is okay. not going to be in your way. Ah, do you need help? Do you need help? Hi. Are you? <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> you know, have Alzheimer? Why are you so cold? Oh, it's cold in there? It's like ice oh. creamery in there, man. Wow. Ice cream. I feel like I was in a, a, a porno. <laughs> the minute they put that, 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 that fall asleep, I was trying yeah. to count down from 10. I don't remember even reaching. Nah, counting nine? I don't even remember what happened <laughs> after that. And the next thing I know, I was wide awake. I thought I just fell asleep. Good. Clean. Look how clean Ew. that is, baby. Look oh my how clean God. that is. Baby, I do good job. You did it. I, I'm the one who suffered. <laughs> I didn't do, eat anything for like days. He's like, John, Whoa. that was the cleanest cola I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> no signs of poo poo anywhere. What? Mm. Maybe you should ask your doctor to order that. more for me. Totally clean. He says, not even one polyp. He's like, I had to go in twice because usually you find something, but like, John. You are the healthiest person I've ever met in my life. Wow. All right, clean bill of health. Ready Yay, to go on, baby. my baby's healthy. And start eating whatever you want. He says, John, you're so healthy, you can eat whatever you want. You can get unhealthy, you have room. The way colonoscopy said and done, you all. Done, I'm out of here. Look at that, look at that, so clean. So the only thing was this, this little thing here. He says, like a John, bump. you can eat more fiber more fiber he said eat more vegetables i'm like mofo i eat vegetables all the i time. know all, all the time, time. <laughs> i'm wobbly still uh, all right y'all peace out all right here's the food for today it's duck this is so special because today we are going to celebrate john's colonoscopy <laughs> So he hasn't eaten for a week. This is how I'm going to celebrate with him. He's gonna be eating duck, vegetables. Yay! I find it amusing that we're celebrating my colonoscopy by eating food that... Lulu's favorite? It is a Lulu's favorite. She's like, John, you know, we need to celebrate. You deserve this. And you know, you know what I want? I want duck. <laughs> I want so mine. I'm gonna go get that for you. The only thing I wanted was tofu skin. That was the only reason I got it because it's healthy. But you know, I want steak. Did, did I get? I didn't get steak. Hey, Jessica. My craving just food. I don't care what it is. It's for so long now. It's a week. It's the longest I've ever never eaten. You know what? I probably should have waited. I think the medicine is still working. <laughs> oh no. End of the vlog. No more. <laughs>